What's up YouTube, R Willie here. I'm a bit buggered right now. I just got back from the skate park and I had a crazy session, which I did film, so you will see that soon. But uh, today I wanted to go through some of the tricks that didn't make it to WebEdit 3 because I couldn't manage to land them. So obviously I've gone through all the tricks in my WebEdit Wednesdays and told you the stories behind those tricks. But uh, what about the tricks that didn't make it because I just wasn't good enough to land them? just yet. Uh, so I thought I would go through and just talk to you about those tricks and why I couldn't do them and just some of the factors that made them so hard to land. Oh, go for it Drift. Drift's going nuts, Alex is probably home. But uh, first up, just kind of a simple one, not really too crazy. I've actually done a 720 front flip over a Mega Ram obviously, but uh, I've never done it in a skate park. I wanted to take it to like a normal skate park box jump and see if I could pull it. So I was in the UK and I thought, why not huck it over this step up? It seemed pretty good. Check it out. <laughs> it actually makes me laugh seeing me fail. But um, pretty much I tried it, I swear, like eight times, but I don't know where the footage is. Most of these things, it just sucks because I only kept and looked after the footage that I actually landed. Like that was gold to me. And the stuff that I didn't land, I kind of just threw out the back into like random places. And now I can't find any of it. But uh, I do have some clips here and there. So I do have clips of what I did try and not land. But uh, we're just going to have to make do with certain clips not being in it. But as you can see there, nearly got the 720 front flip. I wasn't too worried about it because I was like doing, I did a 1440 fronty over like the mega ramp and that's like double what that is. So not too worried about that, but that was another trick. This next one was kind of funny. I don't even know why I tried it. I do want to go back and do it like down a ledge or something, but it's the fakey fronty hop into a ramp. You're going to see pretty much it was just a stupid idea. Yeah, nice try Ryan. Uh, pretty much, I don't even think that was anywhere near. I need to be leaning a lot more forward and kind of standing up. I like landed sitting down, just whiplash, smashed my head. But um, I think that trick would work. I was actually doing it off a ledge there and doing it a lot quicker. That one was kind of slow. But I think off a ledge, like in the streets maybe, I think it would work. What do you reckon? Do you think I could do a fakey fronty hop off a ledge? Maybe web it at four, maybe, or another edit. We'll, we'll, we'll see when it happens and if it happens. But next up is a huge one. I know a lot of people were expecting this to be in web edit three, but I didn't manage to land it. To be honest, I didn't really try it that much. I think I tried it about 10 times, maybe total ever. And it, that's the double nothing front scooter flip. So basically, you know what a nothing front scooter flip, it's where you just like throw the scooter, it does a front flip, catch the handlebars, put it back underneath you. Well, a double nothing front scooter flip, you throw it, it does a front flip, and you let it keep going and it does another front flip, and then you reach out and try to grab it. And basically the hardest thing about this is the more it's flipping, the, the more away, further away it is. Like, if you've ever tried a nothing front scooter flip, you know that it's hard to keep the scooter near you. So when you do a double nothing front scooter flip, it actually becomes double the length away from you. So you have to have it so close, even just to grab the handlebars. And you're gonna see, I got really close, but uh, didn't manage to get it in the end. actually managed to get my hands onto this one but I just didn't have enough time in the air to get my feet underneath it but this is definitely a trick I want to go back and land it, it looks super cool and I know a bunch of you really want to see it done so it's definitely on on my to-do list and it should be in one of my future videos all right next up we have a BMX trick I've actually managed to land this since web edit 3 but it is the cash roll tail whip windshield wiper or if you're on a scooter, it would be called a cash roll tail whip rewind. Basically, it's a 360 front flip or cork 720 with a uh, tail whip to oppo tail whip. And I've never done an oppo tail whip ever in my life except for in this trick, which I think is kind of funny. But um, let's get into it. 
Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, this is the first time I'd ever tried it and I got super close. Like, I think I just slipped the pedal the first time I did it to the airbag. So I was really confident. And this was like the 14th of April, 2016. This was before WebEdit 3 was coming out. So I was like, oh yes, I could get another BMX World First in WebEdit 3. So I really wanted to get this trick done. So a month later, I was on a Cap City Australia tour and I, I decided to throw it down. And this is how it went. So as you can see, I got super close, but um, I had my mind on doing a lot of other tricks at the time, so I kind of put it in the back and just forgot about it. Further down the track, after Webber 3 had come out, I decided to give it another go, and I managed to pull it in a show in America, and it was like one of the greatest tricks I've ever done, so check it out. That mine! Yes, believe in yourself, you can do anything. As you can see there, I was super pumped on this trick. I reckon it's one of the best looking tricks I've ever done on scooter or BMX, but uh, you could argue either way, but I have to switch my feet. So that's what makes this trick like super gnarly for me, is the fact that I have to do it with my feet the wrong way. So if you're a skateboarder or a scooter rider, you can imagine it's like me doing the trick switch, standing the opposite stance. So. It's kind of weird, but uh, I'm stoked that I managed to pull it. All right, up next is a huge one. Uh, I really, really, really wanted to get this. This was meant to be my banger. Like what, back when I first started filming for WebEdit 3, this was gonna be the banger of all bangers. And it was like my main goal for WebEdit 3 to land this trick. And that, that is the 540 double flare. So the way I do it, I do a flare on the first flip and then I do a 540 flare on the second flip. As you can see, I did try it so many times, but I've only got the footage of one clip. Oh, actually, no I don't, I got more. But the first time I tried in the UK was actually the closest I think I've ever gotten to it. And you're gonna see here that I kind of roll away and then just slip out. You can see by the look on my face that I was surprised I nearly landed that trick. Uh, anyway, I did try it again. I only had this really crappy footage, but uh, you can see how tarcoed I got on these next clips. The first one, I like just destroy and explode myself. And the second one, I actually really hurt my shoulder and couldn't try anymore. So, <sighs> check it out. All right, back to the big ramp. Uh, another scooter trick that I tried almost four years ago now in 2014 at Travis Pastrana's house was a double front flip 720. So uh, obviously the Silly Willy is a double front flip 360. You may have seen that before. Well, I wanted to do like a front flip 180 and then a 540 flare out. So ultimately a double front flip 720. And uh, I actually did it a few times to the bag which you can see right here. No way. And as you see, I pretty much spin it perfectly to the bag. So uh, I amped myself up and uh, we were filming action figures at the time and I really wanted to get some cool footage for Travis Estrana. So I sent it to the landing and you're gonna see how it went. So it may appear that I did pretty well there, but I actually smashed my face. And if you see action figures in the crash section, you'll actually see me like a good view of me cracking my face on the landing. But uh, it didn't hurt me too much because I managed to get up and try this next trick I'm going to talk about. The 720 double backflip on BMX. 
All right, so still almost four years ago, I started trying my dream trick on BMX and scooter, a double backflip 720. So uh, obviously an Aussie roll, if you've heard of it, is a double backflip 360. Well, I want to add another rotation to it and do a double backflip 720. And as you're gonna see right here, it's a super weird trick and there's so many different ways to do it. And I actually evolved and slowly learned how to do it properly, but I still haven't mastered it and I haven't landed it just yet. But uh, check out these clips of the first time I ever threw 720 double flips to the airbag at Travis Pastrana's house. As you can see, I got really close on this one, and you can just see how wild this trick is. It's pretty much like flipping and spinning in normal motion. It's so hard to know where I'm at, but I kind of just feel it out. So I'll like pull back and to the side as hard as I can, kind of like a flare, and I'll get one flip around, and then I'll just like pencil out for a little bit, and then come back in and hope that I'm landing straight, which is actually the hardest part about this trick. Uh, the, the flips and spins isn't really the hard part. It's actually straightening it, straightening it out to land perfectly straight which is what is always getting the best of me but uh, obviously I did it pretty well that one there so I was feeling confident and crazy at the same time at Travis Pastrana's house and I guess I was just running on full adrenaline so I just sent it and uh, you're gonna see that I obviously was a bit too excited oh my god so as you can see, it didn't really go too well. Um, it came in really nice, but then the landing wasn't there. So pretty much I just did a 900 double flip to fakie and um, just dislocated my shoulder, I'm pretty sure. Like absolutely destroyed it. Uh, I do have another angle of it, which you can really see like what the trick is like and how I would have come in straight if it wasn't for the landing being six more feet down. So as you can see, I pretty much just rip as hard as I can. I do kind of like a under flip, straighten out pencil, 720, tuck in, yes, perfect, no, where's the landing, damn it, separated shoulder, sad I willy. I'm sorry about the footage, I pretty much filmed that off my phone and I was filming like the cameraman's display and pretty much all that footage was for action figures so I can't really get it unfortunately, but that's the best I can do and I hope it suffices. But that's not it, I did try this trick again on a uh, European Nitro Circus Tour, I believe. The best thing about having an uh, inflatable landing is the fact that you can, we can actually um, deflate it a little bit and it becomes super soft. So if you kind of like land on your side, if you want to try a big trick, you can let it down and it's going to have a lot of give and you're going to be a lot safer. So we were doing that. I think Travis was doing an Aussie roll. A few people were trying some other crazy tricks and I was just hyped on adrenaline and I'm like, you know what? Let's go nuts. Let's try a 720 double backflip on BMX. And these ones, I actually got quite close, but you're gonna see that the hardest part was trying to come in straight. Check it out. <laughs> That right there pretty much shows you why this trick has to be done and it is on my to-do list at the very top because I just love the way this trick looks. It just looks absolutely insane. It's like I flip like kind of slow at the start and then I just go into like a torpedo spin and I just really want to like figure it out. Like it's my ultimate goal because you don't know how many times I've tried this trick like on BMX and scooter. And on Scooter, I've tried it like, I think 60 times, but uh, I'm gonna go into that another time. But as you can see right here, I take off, I rip it back as hard as I can, and just spin to win, you know? But the thing about this that I'm doing wrong is at the start, I'm pulling too far to the side. So if you, I've learned this by trying it many times, trust me. When I pull off like a flare, I always come in landing like a flare. So what I need to do is pull straight back like a kind of under flip, and then after I've finished the first flip, I go into a spin. And I've learned that 
because of doing it on scooter and I'm going to go into it a little bit more on the next episode uh, about the 720 double flip on scooter because on scooter I've actually rolled away from it a tiny bit and then I slipped out so I've actually got really close on scooter but let's get into the next attempt on, on bike because obviously I was running on adrenaline super pumped and I ran straight back up to try it again <laughs> As you can see, I think this one was like a little bit worse. I definitely pulled more sideways off the lip. So when I come in, I've already spun 720 and I'm not gonna be able to randomly stop my body from spinning still and then just turn it into a straight backflip. It just doesn't work like that because I have so much momentum. So I really have to pull back more off the start and I really wanna get this trick dialed either on BMX or scooter. I honestly think that this trick might work easier on a bike once I figured it out just because of the wheelbase and how sturdy a BMX bike is. So I'm not even sure what this is gonna be done first on, but I think it's gonna be a BMX bike. However, I'm gonna show you in the next episode how close I got on scooter, but right now I'm gonna give you a little example of one of the last ones I tried, and you're gonna see why it was one of the last ones I tried. <laughs> My favorite part about that clip is the fact that like I'm just mumbling this stuff and I probably got a concussion while Travis is trying his kid. Addy is just jumping on the trampoline like having a ball and I'm just like KO'd on the ground like talking smack. But um, as you can see right there, this trick is super hard and when it goes wrong, it goes really wrong. But I'm gonna go more into this trick on the next episode just because it's gonna be quite long because I did try this on scooter like 60 times. And I wanna show you all the, new, all the attempts because they like change. When I first started doing it, it was super wild and I would spin at the start, spin at the end. And then by the end of it, I was doing like a straight flip to a 720 flip. And I just wanna show you is like what it looks like from my POV because I did get a bunch of footage from my point of view during the trick. And I just wanna go through it a lot because this trick, I wanted to be the banger of all bangers. This was gonna be the banger of WebEdit 3 and I was working so hard to try land it. However, it didn't work out and luckily I managed to pull off the 1440 front flip to replace it. Uh, hopefully in the future, my fingers are crossed. WebEdit 4, please give me the 720 double flip. But that's gonna be it for this uh, little episode that I've done. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought I would just open up my uh, bag of tricks and just show you what is in the pipeline. Obviously all these tricks, I could potentially go out and land anytime uh, when I'm on the Nitro Tour or at a skate park. So just uh, let me know which trick was your favorite, which trick do you wanna see me land the most? I wanna know in the comments because that always helps me to like motivate me to do these certain tricks. So. Let me know in the comments what your favorite trick from this list was. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smack that thumbs up button. It really helps my videos and I appreciate it a lot. Shout out to everyone that subscribed. And if you haven't, make sure you do because I'm making videos like this all the time, plus many more. So uh, I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.